What's up? It's Afro DJ Mac here, and I got a new free Ableton Live pack for you. This one is made with my tea kettle. This weird tea kettle that sort of sounds like a harmonica. So I took that sample and made a couple instruments out of it. Let's look at the first one here. Um, we're going to open this guy up and it's first thing you'll see is an arpeggiator there's the synth itself with the sample um, and a couple other little things frequency shifter little utility to kind of put things more in the center and a limiter and um, most of the controls here are coming right off the uh, sampler itself so we start off with a low pass filter And we got the resonance too for that filter. And um, I've also got a filter envelope here, which will change the, um, that's the decay right there. But if I turn the resonance up, it'll change the filter over time. And this is how much time it'll take, three seconds. And if I lower it all the way down, you get a much different effect. So that's something you can play around with. I'm going to keep it neutral right now. We've got an FM oscillator. This is totally without it. And as we turn it up, I'll open it up here too so you can see it. Um, it's set to the triangle wave. It's just the one I like the best. And it's only a short time. It's less than a second that it lasts for. But that gives it that kind of like bam sound, that almost pluck to it. This might be maybe a little much, but you can also tune it. You can make a kind of cool bass sound for you. And the other thing I put on here is an arpeggiator. So the arpeggiator is off until you turn the knob, so. play it a little higher. So just by turning these knobs, you get quite a different sound from this thing. Um, and you know, that's it. You play around with it, adjust it to how you like. I found it was kind of useful as like kind of like a plucky bass sound. That's something like this. Okay, so let me show you the next one here. I'll close this guy up. And this one is the same exact sample, except this one's made to sound more like a pad. So it's also kind of noisy, and that's the sound of the sample. If you look, there's some clicks and pops in there. And you have control of where the sample starts over on these last two knobs here. So if I move this over a little bit, it's going to be a little bit cleaner. I can change the length of the samples. If you put these really tight, you get this kind of like almost granular sound from it. And depending on where you put the samples start, there's some of that noise. You get different sounds. Um, maybe the first thing I should have told you is that there's actually three of these. And one is down the middle and, one, and the other two are panned left and right. You have control over the attack and release. Right now I've got the long attack, but you could also have a short one if you like. So I, have a, I like the long attack and long release if we're going for a pad sound. Um, so back over here, we've got, um, if you don't like those, you know, I'll let you kind of hear it a little better, but if you don't like all that low kind of popping sound, just turn up the high filter and that cuts that stuff out nicely. So there's a little rumble that way, which I decided to keep in because you might like it. 
and you can get rid of it entirely by just moving the sample start over and playing with your filter. We've got a low pass filter. The resonance controls both these. And you see, I'm doing a filter through EQ8 right here. That's what we're looking at over here. Um, just uh, find the EQ8. It sounds really cool. So we're using that as the filter today. The resonance is, affects both of them at the same time. Um, let me just close this guy down a bit and I'll show you the auto pan which I have here set up to do some uh, tremolo basically. So <clears throat> it's effectively off with a depth at zero and as you turn it up you get more and more auto pan tremolo. If you want total tremolo put the phase at zero or 360 and you get the on-off effect of tremolo. If you move this, now you go from left to right. And if you have headphones on, you can hear this. And the amount you want, of course, is up to you. So that's kind of this sound in a nutshell. Um, it's the same sample used a bunch of different times to get a bunch of different effects. Um, so, you know, I hope you guys enjoy this and have fun with it. And again, if you ever make any music with it, please send it along. I'd love to hear what you're doing with this stuff. Thanks very much and have a great time. <laughs>